The best retro gaming console for under $100, it's the Retro Boy 350. Hey guys, it's Sam Warren from Tech Fusions here and today we've got a review on the Retro Boy 350. Let's get straight into this. The Retro Boy 350 can run Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, NES, SNES, Genesis, and even PS1 games. Before this video starts, a big thank you to Brandon from Retro Dodo. I actually won this console through a giveaway that he was doing on Twitter. He's done a couple of reviews on this console already, so go and check out his channel. He's got over 100,000 subscribers, and he's got awesome retro content on there for you guys. So I think it's about time to crack open this device and see what it has to offer. Let's go. So here we go, there's the box. It's my first time seeing it. It's a bit uh, of a plain box. I like it to have some retro vibes kind of on the box. That would be quite nice. Um, we have got it in the grey colour. So there's the box itself. Nothing too special really. Got some specs on the side there. So as you can see it's a 3.5 inch screen. Uh, IPS screen, it's got a half a gigabyte of RAM, 16 gigabyte TF card included. It'd be interesting to see if there's any games on this. Uh, USB Type C and a 2500 milliamp battery. There's a nice image of the game console on the side right there. Let's open up this box and see what we get inside. So it's got a nice little bit of styrofoam there. Oh wow, this console actually looks pretty amazing. Let's take a closer look at that. There we go, so it comes in this protective packet. Let's slip this out. Oh yeah, that's fancy, look at that. Taking a look at the bottom, you've got the power switch, SD card, volume buttons, and reset button. On the top, you've got the shoulder buttons, you've got two USB type C ports, a mini HDMI, and a headphone jack. So here's a look at the interface of the Retro Boy 350. It actually looks really nice, um, it's easy to navigate, you've got the options there for different emulators. So the first emulator we're going to boot up is actually the Game Boy emulator. And the game that we've got to play is of course Pokemon. Now this is Pokemon Blue, one of my favourite Pokemon games, it's so iconic. If you enjoyed playing Pokemon when you were younger or if you still play Pokemon, let me know in the comments down below. Now this is the perfect device to play old school Pokemon games on. It just runs it really well and really smooth as you can see. Uh, there was no lagging or no screen tear when playing Game Boy games. Um, I was really impressed and I definitely recommend this device if you want to take it out and about to play some of your retro Game Boy games. I also played Kirby which is an iconic Game Boy game. I really enjoyed this game as well in my childhood so I thought I'll give this one a try and again it's just so responsive and definitely a great experience. Now jumping from the Game Boy to the Sega Mega Drive I'm playing the game Aladdin. Let me know as well in the comments down below if you ever had the chance to play this game. This was wicked. If you like the movie Aladdin you got to play the Sega version of Aladdin. It's actually really fun. Like the Game Boy emulator, this emulator ran really well. It's smooth, you can easily play the game. The buttons are nice to press, um, and you'll have a great gaming experience if you want to run Sega Mega Drive games. Here's Comic Zone, another Sega game I really enjoyed. Again, very responsive. Um, I have no issues with the gameplay and the feel at all. Jumping through the years now, we're playing Game Boy Advance, we're playing Sonic Advance 2 and just look at it go, you can zoom around using Sonic, there's no issues with the console and it felt so responsive playing these Game Boy Advance games, I've got to tell you, I was really impressed with how they worked. So on to the last game which was Tekken 3 for the PlayStation 1. I thought I'd test out this fighting game, see how fast the reactions is. The interface is very smooth, as you can see I can select characters very quickly. But when you actually get into the gameplay, unfortunately 
it was very slow to react so I'll press a button and then there would be a big delay in between me pressing the button and the character actioning the move as you can see on screen now this was a bit of a letdown because I wanted to play loads of PS1 games on this device but if they all respond in this sort of way I didn't want to play any now unfortunately my SD card corrupted so I didn't actually get any more footage of different games I tried out on this console but overall all the other emulators seem to be fine it's just the PS1 emulator maybe it's the settings it just ran a bit slow with the games do I recommend this console and I would say yes it's great for running Game Boy Sega games and it potentially PS1 games if the setting was right now you may have noticed there's no Nintendo 64 games which is a bit of a shame but there is other devices on the market if you're looking to play Nintendo 64 games again if you want to watch more footage of this console check out the link below where Retro Dodo done an in-depth video of this console this has been Sam Morton from Tech Fusions Please comment, like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next Tech Fusions video.